yes people, Darren G, El Father Live, in the presence of the great warrior himself, Shankly, outside the ground. What is people, I hope you're good, it's getting busy here. Yeah? Been round here, been round here all morning. Starting to build up, obviously. Must be a match here or something today, some sort. Let's go round and see the eternal flame, what represents the 97 Hillsborough victims, not the 96, 97. And they're not the only victims, the whole Zitzi's the victim indirectly. Yes, I did good. As you come up here on the right now, you see the eternal flame. There you go. Every time I come to Liverpool, I come to this place. Why? To remember the dead. Who were the dead? The ones that came from this city, went to Sheffield, played a game of football and never came back. Why? Because the police opened gates and let everyone run in. And when it came to the truth, they covered it up for decades. And we've still got no justification for it. But I'm sure we will do with the initiatives that's coming into the city like Carragher 23 with the new council that's just took over things are going to get better and I can feel it it's going to take you on a little tour it won't be much of a tour because I've got somewhere, to, got somewhere to go don't worry I've been here for a little bit at the moment with our Billy at the moment with our William there bang Obviously, a few nuggets have seen me, so they've set the alert call out. Fuck them. Line up the body. Honestly, don't do enough bodies. Floating around the beautiful streets of Anfield, where I was born and raised. Boss around here. Got a few new houses going up and now. But it is absolutely boss round here. Rough as hell. But the chemistry, the energy, it's all there. It's obviously chase mode, isn't it? When it comes to it. people this is Blessington Road it's like a little cut, cut through onto Rockfield Road towards Anfield it leads over into Robson Street as well the Grisdale estate and that so what you're gonna see now is this is Robson Street this is where I'm from this is where I've always been And this is where my identity stems from. Liverpool fights. Obviously, I've got your rights. But the majority of the estate and the area is fucking boss. Better than anywhere else, really. And don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Properties around this area are going through the roof because of the money that's getting pumped into the stadium. And I think you've all heard me before stating the obvious that Anfield is one of a kind. It can make you go soft, it can make you go blind. But I'll always flew through my estate. All I'm ready yet. No one can stop me coming to my city. No one. Especially dickheads that got kicked out the city years ago. 
and then want to come back in as if you haven't done fuck all wrong. You know what I'm saying? what it is people, L5 alive, Dad and Chief, in the glorious city of Liverpool. Now I'm only, I know I'm only floating around, but you know how it is, you've got to test the waters. There's a lot of sharks in the waters, but they haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now don't forget, this isn't me provoking no one. This is just me enjoying the energy in the city. Embracing it. Free. First time I've been in the city over two years without bail conditions. First time I haven't really had to watch myself and conduct myself in, you know, in their eyes, victim ways. But to me, I was living to fight another day, as you do. It's always best to live to fight another day now I've got some people here that look like bananas must be a school uniform or something but it is what it is people it's Adam G City of Liverpool UK that's a boss school out there it used to call Breckfield but it got moved Get off the main road. So here we are, people, on the hills. The view, and what a lovely place it is. If you don't know, now you do. This is the highest point in Liverpool. You probably can't hear me, but look at it. Bang. Absolutely boss. Highest point in Liverpool it is. I should stay and embrace it, but I've got to go and meet someone in the, in the city centre. So I'm just going to cut through Scotty and that, or Langy, one of the two. Probably be, probably be Langy and Scotty. Shoesy. What that does, it's a community centre, smack bang in a in an area that's controlled by drugs and drug dealers. And that's what this area is. The likes of Vaughan with MTK Global. People like that. 
Open it down here. Well, Houston, he's rich now, isn't he? Shit on his bare, walked out, got married to a jock. He was tired with that organisation. Let's not go there. This is about positivity. And what you're looking at here. is a hotbed for drug dealing, hotbed for violence, hotbed for all sorts of things. And it's smack bang on the edge of Langy, between Langy, Scotty, right in the middle. You shouldn't really come through here of a night and there's been reports that locals don't leave their houses when they come through here of a night. Volatile, unpredictable, just like the kids that reside here on the weed, doing what they've got to do to get survive, to make a living, to eat. Let's just cut through Scotland Bowl. All that madness, all that crazy behaviour, got the innocence of children growing up in it. And this is what Choose a Life Not a Knife's all about. Trying to make these environments better, more livable, better to enjoy. Will it get anywhere on a mass scale? I hope it will, because I'm pushing it to. Does it affect minds? On an individual scale, it does, and it always will do. And I don't think there's anything stopping it, to be honest with you, other than the rats, the hating rats. I used to go to that gym on a regular basis. If you want to hurt someone, you just get in there, it's sweet. Yeah. So this is basically the bottom road. Great Homer Street. You get on here. You get on here. I like creatures of Abbey. I like creatures of Abbey on here. Same cafes, same restaurants, same gyms. But I'm not here for that. I'm here to just embrace my city. Have a little float round. Float round all the places I used to go on a regular. Am I provoking people on purpose? No. Am I just enjoying Liverpool? Fucking damn right I am. And as I just said, no one can take that away from me. No one. So here we are, floating onto Scotland Road. It's normally after Sunday here with all the kids. L5 la. I used to hang around down here years ago when I was a kid before all the manics kicked in. Yes, yes. People letting on to me left, right and centre, embracing it, embracing it. Obviously they're the working people. So there you go people, Scotland Road. Get across this one. Don't forget, I'm one handed all the way here, you know. How are you, mate? You good? I so there you go, people. Scotland Road. Doing what I do best. Floating around. Showing me life. So you got your usuals at the shop, ready for the day's graft. Yes.
never seen him for years, man. He never used to be on the swag like he is now, but he is now. So this is Scotland Road, people. Well, the back end of it. As I said before, every time I come into Liverpool, I go and pay a visit to me brother. Well, the plaque that represents him in the in the floor, ah, Billy. I'm not sure whether this is one from yesterday or one from this morning. But it's looking fresh. Last night or this morning. She had a lovely smile on it. She looked about 20, but you never know. Shocked to see me down, Scotty. You know, you, just, you have a double take. Like, is that him? <laughs> so, this is the side track that runs alongside Scotland Road. Takes you back out on the main road outside Liverpool University. I'm going to get round the city today, spend a few minutes in certain places, and then Quintus is coming to meet me. So that's another reason why I'm in the city. Spend some time with my little son, embrace me freedom. There you go, people, just floating now. <laughs> Got a little estate down here. I won't mention it, you all know what it is. Same place. No one really fucking done anything to me. But it is what it is. Loving life to the fullest. Get away. That's the university. John Moore's University. Now if I was in there now I'd be a lecturer. big fly over here people now you see that big gap see that big gap there that used to be a big fly over that they knocked it down for some reason and to be honest it looks better but for me i think it's all to do with putting a train track into anfield in the future but you never know We're coming up to the museum, the art gallery. That pile of rubble there was where the flyover used to be, but they just haven't finished it yet. <coughs> Scouts is letting on to me there, embracing the message. It's a dodgy corner, it's got to take this slightly. There you go, there you go, there you go. So I'm here. This is what's known as Granny's Gardens. Got the museum here. To me left. All that. You can get in free. Well, the top one you can't. You've got to pay an admin fee in that one. But look at it. 
got an open library, public library that anyone can use. Come in, get on your Wi-Fi. There's a cafe in there. Internet, internet um, access in there and that. As always, we've got a mad um, homeless problem in here. And it's not right to see born and bred scousers waking up in such historical parks, stinking of urine, weighing upon themselves when they're asleep. And along with that becomes a lack of self-respect. And with the, with the lack of self-respect, you get a lack of respect for everything, including the public parks. Now, I was saying the other day, it's very vital that we, um, it's vital that we get the homeless into real sheltered accommodation. It's vital that the homeless aren't sleeping on the streets the way they have been. Why? Because we want tourists to come to our city, see great statues like this, embrace the culture, embrace the historical importance of our city and not be surrounded by the feces of homeless people, needles, you know, smash bottles, all this sort of stuff that can be addressed simply by putting a few barges on the Albert Dock and making them into designated areas for the homeless to attend for medical checkups. It's a good idea. I don't know why you aren't putting it into play. There you go. That, my people, is Granny Gardens. What we're coming up to now is Paradise Bus Station. Just let me get my bike down. So I'm down them stairs, people. I'll show you I've got a little weight. The place we come on to now is called Paradise Bus Station. I think it's Paradise Bus Station. I'm not too sure, to be honest. We've seen all these things called Urban 64 splattered everywhere, aren't we? What is Urban 64, anybody know? quite empty at the moment down here, it's normally busy but because we're in the summer holidays there's no school runs or nothing is there but I'm sure town will pick up in a bit got a few little places I want to show you today anyway so I'll just keep you on I'm gonna try and bomb through the fucking precinct without getting caught. Just float out the other side. Alright mate. So there you go, la. I'm in the precinct. Not stopping, just flowing through. Nice and fast so they can't tell me to get off my bike. Ooh, well five alive, two's alive, not a knife. Going out now. Go straight out, mate, sorry. Oh, that was close, weren't it? Excuse me. Thank you. That was close. Two security sides are calling me there, but they realised I'm just going straight out to the other side. So there's no issue. How are you, ladies? You good? Yes, Lovely Scouts Nana's there, look. I like the old ladies, not in that sense. You know, just the raw Scouts Nana's. You can't beat them. The attitude, the sense of humour, the stone-faced attitude when they've got to be solid. It's all there for you. You can't beat the Scouse Nana. At all. I miss my nan, but my nan was Irish. Oh, 
But when my nan was on, when my nan was fucking dying, all this madness was going on. And the night, the night be the night after the shooting, or the same night as the shooting, I've gone to their house. You know, the 17th, 17th of March. And my aunties and that were there, they must have looked at me and went, whoa, he's on fucking something wrong again. So they never let me get in. But I went on that and it was just all that hypo off, you know, where they tried to kill me that night. But we're in the city, no one's here, it's fucking empty. It's normally, it's normally rammed by now though, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why it's not rammed, but trust me, give this an hour when the sun comes out. Give this an hour and there'll be bodies everywhere, scousers everywhere. The noise level will go through the roof. Baby. So it is what it is. I'm taking you round to this church. It's just like a little pitches at church. Not many people are on it, but it's bang in the middle. Of, it, it's smack bang in the city centre of Liverpool. Not many people have been there, but it's bosh. So I'm going to take you there. I think you should feel privileged going to where I'm going. <laughs> nah, you know what, go there, you get like all solicitors, you know, all barristers and that, all, they, all them go there to fucking chill out. But I go there all the time, especially in the summer. Summertime, it's a sun trap. It's a sun trap. You're right by. You're right by the. Um, you're right by the lava buildings. You can't really go wrong where I'm going now. How are you, lads? Good. You can't really go wrong where I'm going now, people. Honest, trust me. It's fucking boss. It's got to find a way through because that road's shut. But watch when I show you this, lad. It's fucking great. Top notch. You won't see a better place in Liverpool, trust me. Yeah, we can get down this way. Stinks of bacon. That's the first thing you smell when you come round that corner. Bacon. I wonder why. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's nearly got bonneted there by that golf. Right, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right destination. Now watch when you get on this, people. I've been here a few times, but I always come here. Always. This is just like the old cathedrals. Same importance. Been here for about the same time. Longer, actually. Obviously, you've got your little bars outside here. Eh? Oh my god, look at that over there, people. So where we go, we've got something going on here right now. So I'm gonna park my bike up and have a look. <laughs> this is why I love Liverpool, people. Just take a look around, look. Look at the cruise liner in the background. Look at the church. You're not going to get a better... There's something going on here, because we've got all, all like, all things with things around them. I don't know what the things are. Cause... So they're going to put birds on here that can sing. That's what that plaque says. There's nothing on there, yeah? But let's take a little waltz round. Obviously, look at the fucking building behind me, people. Look at the building behind me. How can you not embrace our city like this? Boss, la. Absolutely boss. Look at that. Wait until I show you the rest of it in a minute. The rest of a little bit of the city, because I've got a meeting soon, so I've just have, I've got, I've got the chance. The meeting's about housing in Liverpool. I'm with me baby, basically, so it is what it is. 
We've got all interesting things. Judging by the... Could this be Jesus? Or someone like him? Don't forget, he weren't the only one, he weren't the only one attached to a cross. Oh, look at that bird box there. See it? Beautiful, nice little home for the birds. It's a shame you can't put one up there for the homeless humans. But never mind, eh? Now. Got something going on here. Very interesting indeed. MV Derbyshire was an humble carrier by Bibby Tankers. I won't go into it. Obviously, you've got the drug memorabilia. Hmm? So here we go, we've got this one. That's boss. That is absolutely boss. Bit of art, that. Don't forget it's art as well as, as well as, it's very creative. Now, have you seen the pigeon here? got a note tied to his ankle not many people understand or realize that pigeons were very pivotal in the war to help with communication how birds can fly along certain birds can fly a long long way and the best way to transfer a private message was by pigeon so there you go people that's a fact to you now we've got some Got some individuals taking a tour of Liverpool. Got my man over there fixing all the bare things. Got this lovely group of people coming to visit the best city in the world. See, all them aren't coming here for nothing. Obviously, we've got the importance, we've got the historical importance, and we've got the character. That's why tourists come into our city. The amount of stuff we've got in our city for tourism. Do you reckon all them have come off that boat? Might have. Let's go and have a look at this fella here. How are you, mate? You don't like talking on camera, or should we swear it? So, can you, can you tell us what this is about then, please? Right, it's called Andy's Birds Can Sing. So it's just, it's a celebration of, like, women's voices from all over Liverpool. So it's about the, the woman's voice? Yeah, so you've Powerful. got, you've got uh, poems and songs, all all performed by, like, the women of Liverpool. And where are they, uh, coming out of these coming boxes later? Coming out of these bird boxes, yeah, so, 11 o'clock. So when you come round at 11 o'clock, you're going to get all different poems, yeah, all the, different literature? Poems and songs, Decent. and then in between they just play lovely bird noises. That's <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go. Another another positive, energy-filled area in Liverpool. Come into the city, embrace it, embrace the culture. And as you said there, this today is representing the women's voice. And the women in our city are very proud and powerful people. As I was saying before about the nanas, that's where it stems from, our grandmothers and stuff like that. Come into the city, it's a boss place, you won't regret it. I need to get into the middle of all them and get me bike, but it's intrusion, isn't it? But what it is, I'm gonna get me bike and then I'm gonna um, bail to the other side of town. Should I float along the Should I float along the Albert Dock, people? I really need to go and have a look at that cruise line, don't I? Hey. Have a nice day, mate. How plight was it? How, how plight was it? Um, how plight was the person fixing them birds there, la? Obviously, you can get a drink in there. Stinks though. It was boiled eggs. Can't have been shit. I don't think you understand how hard it is pedalling with this one hand shit. But 
I'm still at it, just down. So there you go, people. Flying. Shitting a little cool. Roadway, it's going on, so I'm gonna have to try and scrape through like that. Bang, floating over the Albert Dock. So, I'm near people see. This is what I like to see about the city. Big cruise line is coming in from around the world. You've got to understand how far that boat's travelled just to get to this city. Jam-packed with tourism. That's what it should be. Lately, we've had a lot of stuff going, that, going on down here, which isn't good for tourism which is showing a bad light upon our city. Now the youth re re don't really know much different yet, they're still a bit immature. But as they grow up, I'm hoping that they embrace the city like the mature people do. So let's get along here and have a look at this cruise liner, boss. Got a man new today, got a man new t-shirt over there, but that's all right, mate. L5 alive. Got a few skateboarders over there, practicing the tricks, doing what they do best. Got a little bit of a dilemma here with the no hands. Ooh, 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 ooh. Straight through, bang, easy. Now as you can see, there's a lot of maintenance getting done down here. We've got a dedicating garden team that keep it looking spit and spam on a regular basis. As I keep on saying, these are the butter of Liverpool. Bread and butter of Liverpool they yeah. are. Now it's not letting me get any further in people. So it's looking a bit cagey. Looking a bit cagey, do you get it? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and go around the other side and get in there. Well, there you go. That there, it's not a badge. It's a family crest. It's adorned the skies of Liverpool for centuries. Still does, you can see it in the background, see it? On the live building there, that's a replica of it. You'd also see it on Liverpool's football shirts. What is it? It's a family crest. Not a badge. A lot of people relate to it. We all embrace it. This is Liverpool Cruise Terminal. It's gonna float round the car park because it can. There's no one here, it's quite empty. Unfortunately, it's not booming just yet. But I'll see how close I can get. Got a few security there. Just floating through now. Got security, got a bike. Well, that's the cruise liner, people. I'll get a few words in before he comes. Right, it's massive. Yeah, are you, lad? You're not you. allowed you're on a bike. Oh, Where's that coming from? Yeah, it's come from South Bridge Childs. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it hasn't come from some big continent somewhere? No, it's down to Colwood, everything's there. Oh, right. So there's me thinking it's been in somewhere over there, somewhere it's been in Cornwall yeah. or something. So there you go, just floated through. You've got, got the good security of Liverpool rushing me. That's what they're paid for, that's what the deer do, keep us all safe. What's over there, lad? Nothing like <laughs> There's the hard one, nothing like get out. <laughs> all the other three were boss, all the other three were sound. My man comes in like a copper, nothing like get out. <laughs> but they're all different attitudes in Liverpool, and every one of them's fantastic. They've all got meaning, they've all got purpose.
but Liverpool is getting better. It's getting up there. Just look at it. What can you not like? Look at it. Absolutely fucking boss. How are you, mate? You good? We've got a storage guard that doesn't speak. Boom. Back on the front. There you go. L5 flow. Embracing the city of Liverpool, as always. A douche. So you've seen a few places. I'm going to go with that end now. See what's happening up that end. We love Manchester. Not often you get a scouser saying that, is it? But you've got to understand, we've got a common, we've got a common feeling with Manchester now. Don't forget what, what, happened, what happened in that concert. You're on it. Don't forget what happened the other times. All them attacks, relate, embrace. There you go, we've got the cycling squad flowing, all manners. Over my shoulder, you're going to see some lambs. One lamb, two lamb. I don't know what they represent, they represent some sort of cows or lambs, whatever. I think this is the same grid before. My man's got a number three above his head. Number five, lad, number five. There you go. So here we are, getting into the nitty gritty. This is what you call maritime existence globally. Unbelievable. You're not going to see anything like it anywhere else, trust me. What are all them doing over there? The Pier Masters Green Dig, where you're standing, was once owned to the Dock Masters house, is built like much of Liverpool. So I reckon there could be some artifacts in there. And that's why all these little Adventure is a finder. I'd jump over the fence, but I feel a bit rude because there's someone there. If there was no one there, I'd vault that fence, get up close and personal. But there's someone there. Don't want them calling the police. Now I'm a free man. Now we've got a ferry docked over there, let's see if I can jump on it. Well, I don't know what this is. I thought it was a ferry. But it's obviously not a ferry. That's a tugboat, isn't it? It's a tugboat. It's an 103 foot tugboat. Obviously, yeah. You got the Maritime Museum. So, for you people that follow me that are from the city, when you come to the city, this, this is the place to come to. So this is where, this is where you can get to. 
when you're, if you don't if you don't live in the Liverpool city, this is called the Albert Dock. If you come here, you've got all sorts of stuff, things to do with the kids. You've got all you've got all sorts of events. Look, you've got a museum over there. You've got a museum behind me. You've just seen the museums you've seen at the other side of the city. So it is what it is. Got Alderay getting represented everywhere. Alderay Hospital. Proud Liverpool asset. The amount of children and families Alderay Hospital has helped. It's unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. From all over the country, people go to Alderay. You got your little donut van there. Full of donuts. Got an ice cream van here. Next level ice cream van actually. So I think that I think they give you the option of standing up there and getting a photo. <laughs> Yeah, decent. Turn around here. Got a thing saying strictly no admins. Oh, you know me, people. Where there's a way, there's a will. Where there's a will, there's a way. Let's just get up there. Oh, that's why. Because now I'm on the roof of this thing and it's wobbling. Not good, that, that. But anyway, I'm up here. Still five alive, guarantee. The glorious city of Liverpool. Just outside the pump house. Good place to get a scran. Bit of food in, yeah. You know, when you're coming into the city, it's right on the edge, you can't miss it. You've got all the museums around you. Perfect. Got a little fair going on over there. Still five alive, peace out.